McConnell Library and its staff of librarians are a great place to turn if you need help accessing information. With the large collection of books, DVDs, journals, archive materials, and multimedia equipment for use, it's a great resource for students. McConnell Library is located between Muse and the Center for Sciences and has five floors, each with its own purpose. But before we get into all that, let's look at the history. Radford University was founded by the Virginia General Assembly in the spring of 1910. The school is to be located on 33 acres in East Radford, known as Heath Grove. The college first opened in 1914, and the library was first located in the administrative building, where Muse is now. Groundbreaking for the library began in 1931 with a budget of $43,000 and was completed during the 1931-1932 building session. When the library first opened, it housed only 1,500 volumes, and students helped move the books over to the new two-story library. The building was designed for 200,000 volumes, about 10 times what the college had at the time, and at the 1932 commencement, the building was formally named the John Preston McConnell Library. By 1970, the building had quadrupled in size to accommodate the rapidly growing collection of books, periodicals, and other resources. In the mid-90s, a second edition occurred, bringing it to its present size with five floors that hold over half a million materials, in both various places to study and a place to host special events. The first floor of McConnell Library mainly contains archives, which are collections of historical documents and records about different places and institutions. It also contains journals and magazines, as well as an impressive collection of VHS tapes. The first floor also contains a large conference room which students can use if it isn't busy, and a large group study area containing special microform reader printers. The second floor contains the main collection of books Q through Z and a selection of juvenile books, which are books designed for readers between 12 and 18 years of age. The second floor also contains the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning, who host a wide variety of events, such as the Fall 2019 Word Festival. The third floor is the main floor of McConnell Library, and the floor you start on if you use the front door. It contains a lot of interesting art created by students, as well as study places where the students can go and study in a group. The third floor also has librarians waiting by the main doors to help assist you in anything that you may need. There is also a large amount of computers for students to use, as well as supplies such as scissors and staplers. The third floor also has multiple printers for students, which cost five cents per page to use. There are also many places for students to study. Just remember to be quiet. The fourth floor of McConnell Library is where you can get interlibrary loans and the main collection of books H through O is located, along with more art from the students, along with multiple places to study and computers to use. The fourth floor of the library is where the majority of the DVDs are found. They have an extensive selection, and it's not all just educational films. The fourth floor is also where the Harvey Knowledge Center is located, which helps students with their academic goals. They can help you learn better time management, learn successful study habits, and lots more. The fifth floor is for silent study. There are librarians around this floor controlling the volume so that dedicated students can come here and focus. That being said, the fifth floor also contains the archives and special collections of Radford. The library collects, preserves, and organizes these primary source materials that document the history of Radford University as well as Southwest Virginia as a whole. Anyone is invited to visit the archives, but it is suggested that you make an appointment by emailing archives at radford.edu. McConnell Library is a very beautiful building with a rich history which helps students at the university every day with its resources, books, and talented librarians.